Call of Duty Ghosts. Yuck. Sorry for no face cam, but my computer is acting stupid. Phase 5. Oh, it's been it's been a while since I talked about Phase 5. So if you guys didn't know already, I won Phase 5. Um, yeah. Won? You didn't even make it to top 100. What do you mean? Well, basically, I consider myself a winner. I consider myself a winner just... For the fact that I actually accomplished a couple things here and there with the Phase 5 Recruitment Challenge. That being said, not making it to Top 100 didn't really mean anything to me. Um, just for the fact that that wasn't what I was striding for. Honestly, if you guys saw my Recruitment Challenge response or whatever, I didn't... I didn't hate anything. <laughs> All I hate was leftovers and I did get some hate even from my own friends for that. But you know what? The whole point of my phase 5 of me doing phase 5 was just to gain an audience and it actually helped me it helped me a lot actually I actually made some friends off of the phase 5 response I got to play with some iron members I got to play with some era members I got I got to meet a lot of people my goals during the phase 5 were to keep my channel active and uh, I actually accomplished that I actually made a mini I made a live commentary, I made a normal commentary, and I would update you guys on my phase 5. I also, I think, I, I believe I made it to 300. Really my goals were to make a variety of videos, and I accomplished them. About my response, a lot of people were hating on me because I put a bunch of leftovers, but uh, the whole purpose of it, because if you guys didn't see, I only played for about 4 days. The whole purpose of me even making a response was, first of all, I didn't want to disappoint you guys. I, uh, I updated you guys and said, oh, I was going for the phase five, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to disappoint you guys. And the whole point of me putting a bunch of leftovers was just to show you guys that I'm a pretty consistent person. I can hit a leftover pretty much every day. All the clips I did hit for phase 5 though were hit in 2 days so I mean I thought that was pretty impressive that I hit a bunch of triple uh, headshot feats in that short amount of time at least. So I was like you know what effort I'm gonna upload a response and see what people say. And I got some hate. But honestly the video itself actually did pretty damn good. So what do I mean by I won the phase 5? Well. I gain subscribers, I gain viewers, I gain likes, followers, and I became more engaged in the COD community. And I made my dedicated official engaged comeback to the COD community, sniping community. Ever since, I've been leading teams, making connections, and well, kind of preparing my future here in the COD community. Now I'm ready for something big, we're gonna strive for the best, we're gonna strive to be the best, and yeah. Phase 5 was actually one of the best decisions I've made in my sniping career at least. I know I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but you know what, since my years here in the COD community, since 2011, since I got a summer job and it was literally a clown's assistant just to buy HDPVR. Since I made two teams that did not go anywhere, I can say I'm now doing what I want to do, and I'm at the right track. With all these skills I've acquired in the COD community, my designing, my editing, my sniping, and all these skills, even my business skills, I can say that the Phase 5 was a good decision and it actually put me in the right track. Anyways guys, that is why I think of me being a winner from the phase 5. It put me on the right track, I, uh, I, gained, I gained more of an audience, and I made some friends. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this, I'm sorry for no face cam like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Make sure to check out all my social media down below in the description box, like the video, favorite the video, and comment if you haven't already. And subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways guys, as always, fire excel. Peace.